In a remote corner of contemporary Ethiopia lies Aksum, a city with an intriguing past. With its roots going back to the 2nd century BC, Aksum thrived until the middle of the 7th century AD. At an elevation of more than a mile above sea level, Aksum's atmosphere is as rare as its history. During the heyday of the kingdom, the city of Aksum bustled with activity. The upper class lived in towered pavilions on high basements with monumental granite staircases. Public spaces were flanked by lesser structures that provided both privacy and defense. The origins of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church go back to the Aksumite Kingdom when in AD 324, King Azena converted to Christianity. This event, barely more than a decade after Emperor Constantine's conversion in Rome, makes Aksum one of the earliest Christian realms in the world. In a field on the northern side of the city, there is a stella, about the size of a house door, which carries the message from King Azena to his subjects, announcing the conversion to Christianity. It survived nearly 1,700 years of exposure to the elements and is protected today by a stone structure built around it. Aksum's preeminent role in Ethiopia's Orthodox Church continues today. According to tradition, King Menelik I, son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, went to Jerusalem to visit his father. When he returned, it said, he brought the Ark of the Covenant to Aksum where it was safeguarded in a series of chapels, several of which still stand today. Obelisks were erected throughout Aksum as grave monuments for royalty. Some of these carved stone needles are the largest in the world. Unfortunately, most of the tombs they marked have been looted. One obelisk was taken in 1937 by Italian forces at the beginning of the Second World War. It stood on a busy Rome intersection until it was returned to Aksum in 2005. Today, Aksum is being discovered by tourists. A new museum under construction is expected to be completed soon. Yet, as the modern world intrudes, Traditional life continues at Aksum, sustaining its aura as a truly magical place.